the machine was actually delivered in 2010. <clears throat> the guy that purchased it um, really never even flew it. I got it with 32 hours on it. It was like brand new. Uh, I think he got into the sport and didn't realize that he would be afraid of flying. So I picked the machine up and basically I know the <coughs> Sky Hughes, the one who actually manufactured it from Hughes Arrows, or me and him as good friends. And uh, I picked it up and we totally disassembled the whole craft. Nothing was wrong with it. Just decided to do a theme plane. And it was basically repowder coated, all brand new A&N hardware. And from there, we just took off. GPS is off. I had a trip. I took it with me. Uh, still in the motorhome. There's a the rail. I'm just trying to give you a little idea of maybe some close-ups. Rather than trying to take a whole bunch of pictures here. You might want to price those from aircraft spruce they're pretty expensive the x vision there's the primer nice seat belts very very comfortable seats um put some really cool uh cushion and stuff in them this plane pretty much looks better than any of the the new ones out there to be honest with you um it's always been kept indoors here in my shop as you can see everything kind of stays pretty clean in here too so uh you know i'm real particular about my stuff this is the shoot lights these are awesome man they uh they illuminate the heck out of the parachute and with the bright orange you can't beat it no it doesn't have nos this is actually an overflow bottle that goes around for the smoke oil and that's where you would put the smoke oil in. That's an internal tank inside the fuel cell. We'll go around here. As you can see, these are flush mounted LEDs. Everything. There's no wires hanging out on the bars like you see on a lot of machines. A Kiev prop. Uh, this was expensive. Took a while to, to get in. It's uh, got the brass leading edges. Had the custom exhaust, ceramic coated. You fuel it up on this side, and uh, there's your gas gauge. I use the big, nice fuel filters. As you can tell, the uh, smoke system was all done with stainless steel tubing. You come around front of the radiator. There's a valve here that turns it on. We didn't continue with the stainless steel for vibration. Didn't want anything to crack, so that gives it a little play. There's the pump for the smoke oil, and it goes back down into the smoke oil tank. There's a switch there where you can turn the oil off so it don't uh, accidentally go up the tube or whatever when you don't want it smoking. Brand new battery uh, that was put on, uh, let's see, it looks like January of 14. It matches the plane, I like that about it. There's the saddle bags, they're really cool got a lot of space in here to put stuff it opens up uh we'll zip around here lynx headsets uh those are very nice love them about the best you can get and this here is the police siren if i can get up under here you can see that a lot of fun when you're flying over people's houses um it's got the line socks, and this is another one of the LEDs here. Uh, really nice machine. You almost have to see it in person to get the uh, gist of everything here. And you've got the lights. You can have them strobing. Or you can come over here, and you can actually hit the green switch, and that'll just give you position lights without strobe. And then you can go back to strobe. This one cuts them off. This one here operates the siren. I really don't want to turn that on right now because it'll blow my eardrums. External antenna. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I've got well over <coughs> 30,000 into the plane. 
uh, probably getting close to 40 grand, if not 40. Uh, we, like I said, didn't cut no corners anywhere. Electric start. And a little cover was custom done to match the theme of the plane. So it is a blue head that was powder coated. Uh, the blue just didn't seem to look as good as the black. So, and there's your coolant. Uh, overall, if you got any more questions, feel free to call me. This is the stainless steel uh, nuts and bolts for the wheels. I, they have a tendency to corrode or get rusted. I never liked that on the machines. These here are tie downs, which are on the plane. If I can get to them here, maybe and get a better look. Makes it a lot easier to tie the machine down. Don't have to worry about coming loose in flight. I mean, uh, while you're trailing it. And uh, I think that's uh, about it. I had a custom embroidery uh, put on there, the shoots of hazard. And probably a lot of stuff here that I'm just missing. I just wanted to give you a roundabout and maybe figure the video would be better than actually trying to email a lot of pictures. This is the custom fuel cell. And as you can see, it's humongous and it goes forward all the way and I have a fuel gauge on the EIS. I also added one here so you can just turn around in your seat and look at what we call the little red peel and it will uh, show you how much fuel is in there. And the nice thing is your cap's up here so whenever you're feeling you can just put your leg up here on the thing and hold your fuel container and just pour it in. A lot of the machines are very awkward trying to get them refueled. So anyway if you have any more questions, feel free to give me a buzz, 985-974-9308. All right, you have a good day.